How's it going guys? This is Mouseball and this is the Attack Mouse Nation and welcome to Motoring with Mouseball. And guys, today's video is brought to you by Elite Attack Mouse Nation member and super contributor Roger Gusty. Elite Attack Mouse Nation member and super contributor J.G. Mopar. And Elite Attack Mouse Nation member and super contributor Denise Shumko. Now guys, I'm really sorry we haven't brought much content this week. And next week, we're gonna to try to bring as many videos as we can because we might jump back onto the Need for Speed on Bound series with a couple of videos on that, like the car list and some of the improved game mechanics because they've actually improved the game quite a bit. And also we've got Merrill's Hood that we're going to be wet sanding and polishing and pretty much making it look like a sheet of glass. Now, obviously we want to do a video on the hood being put on Merrill, plus not to mention that the black sheep intake being finally finished. We've actually got it heat wrapped. We've got it fully installed and we've got one little amazing touch that we want to do that'll really bring it together. We're going to make a custom bracket that's going to actually sit on the manifold, which actually has a hole that is threaded so that way you can thread a bracket into the intake manifold and that will actually hold the black sheep intake in place so that way it doesn't shake and rattle as much, especially under full throttle. Now, as far as mouse ball goes, well, mouse ball's got some stuff that is gonna get done to it. One, we wanna do an OSG intake. Now that we've got a lot of the thermal figured out and we've got the intake pretty much where we want it, and a lot of other little touches, we want to make sure that we get a little bit more power out of it. Now, are we looking to make the 266 horsepower that Moss B Customs made? Not really. We're looking to up the ante just a little bit and do it incrementally. Now, styling wise, we got the car where we want it. Um, obviously, we want to take the headlights apart and we want to black chrome the headlights to kind of mute them down and match the front end of the car. We want to finish the rear lift gate handle, get that black chromed, which is definitely down the road. And we want to repaint the roof and install a brand new wing that Mama Mouse and I are designing right now. Now, as far as Jasmine, our Corvette, well, we're going to be fiberglassing the seats. We're going to send the seats out to upholstery to have the upholstery done where we're going to add actual seat pads, not a full seat cover because a full seat cover adds weight. We're also going to innovate and create door cards for Jasmine that will still have the same electronics attached to the door cards, but won't look totally like a race car door card. The idea is to kind of bridge the gap between street and race and actually have a car that if we chose to use it on the street, it could be used and it could still be somewhat comfortable. But regardless of that fact, Jasmine is running fantastic, been driving the car back and forth to lunch and sometimes without headlights, actually all the time without headlights. And luckily I haven't had any police trouble for that. I mean, I don't think the police want to waste their time with a car that has no headlights during the day. I mean, yeah, they could definitely write you a ticket, but at the end of the day, is it really worth pulling somebody over and spending 30 minutes going through all their information just for a uh, headlight ticket that is going to end up being solved because I work here really doesn't make much sense but anyway I can eventually roll the dice and I might hit snake eyes with Jasmine if I keep on doing that so I'll just alternate and see where that goes but nevertheless the Corvette is in fantastic shape it's got tons of power and obviously all the cars are going to be needing tires so thanks to the Attack Mouse Nation and all the contributors who have helped keep this channel afloat, you know, Mama Mouse and I are gonna be able to get those things and keep up with the maintenance on both these cars. Merrill already got an oil change and Mouse Ball is on his way to getting an oil change as well. But nevertheless, guys, we're gonna try to make these videos at least around five minutes long. So that way they're more consumable because I've noticed that a lot of the videos are like 15 to 20 minutes long and it's a lot of stuff to watch and a lot of people just don't have time. And that's very understandable. Everyone's got lives to live. So we really appreciate the Attack Mouse Nation for tuning in into anything we do. 
And like I said, guys, any of you guys who are contributing, helping us out and helping me have a little bit more time with Mama Mouse on the weekends, you know, you have no idea how much that means because honest to God, you know, my dad, myself, we work seven days a week. Jessica works almost seven days a week. You know, she's been having a little bit of time off, thank God, to actually stroll the beach and relax. But nevertheless, I just wanted to kind of like check in with you guys, let you know that we will be bringing more content. One of the videos we're gonna do is my experience with the Abars community over five years, the truth about Mikey Turbo and the truth about Mikey P, two of the greatest names in the Abars community. And we're going to look at other Abars in the community that are not only outstanding builds like Turbo Toms and That Blew a Barth, but we're gonna be looking at other cars that are potential projects and how they can come about as far as a platform. You know, cars like the Miata, the Supra, you know, Mercedes, BMW, you name it. We're gonna go over these cars and see what they have for potential as far as customization. But nevertheless, guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay wealthy. And remember, as long as you're an Attack Mouse Nation subscriber, we'll always have some great content for you coming down the line. Take it easy, guys. Mouse ball out.